Hello everybody, my name is Alan, I'm from Sauber Lab, and today will be another video about TrueNAS Scale. This video will be part 4, where we're gonna explain a little bit more about Cloud Sync or Cloud Credentials in the TrueNAS. Remember, this Cloud Sync or this Cloud Configuration will be a little bit different compared for the Cloud Configuration that you can have with ArcLone. Do not do a mount for your server, but they will make a sync or a copy or a paste basically from the data. It means that you can have a copy for your data in the cloud and you can have only the data in the cloud where they will copy or they will pull all the data from your cloud. So in this way, depending on your preference and how often you want to do it, you can have a, basically a copy for your data in your house and a copy for your data in your cloud. Not necessarily that you need to choose only Google Drive or Dropbox, but you can have other options for cloud. As well, you can also connect with that web dev. This web dev is good for next cloud where you can make this sync. So if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show you this video, but first of all, don't forget to leave your like, consider to subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed yet, and let's understand a little bit more about it. Before we start to explain how you can create your cloud credential and how you can configure your pool or pool between your cloud and your TrueNAS, we go to the basics. We're gonna explain what system that we're using. The system that I'm using is the TrueNAS Scale Revision 22.02.4, where I have around 16 gigabytes of uh, run memory. It's recommended to have 16, so I use this quantity. Also, I have four cores. I could have a little bit more, but I don't think that is required in this case. I'm still using a virtual machine because so far all those configurations work quite well in a virtual machine. Once that you start to run some applications or some virtualizations, then this virtual machine will not work the way that you expect. So now we're gonna look for our storage. In our storage, we have lots of files and the file that we want to configure it will be this one where it's related from data. So this data have almost nothing. It's only 104 kbytes of data. So first we're gonna copy some information there and then after we try to sync. So let's open our network. So first thing that we're gonna do, I'll create a folder here called photos and here and inside this folder, I will paste some pictures. So in this way, I have around 279 megabytes of data here. So I can return here and minimize this page. Here, they should update, and now they will appear that I have around 279 megabytes of data. So I have something that I can try to put in the cloud. Now I need to create our credential. Then I can connect my TrueNAS to my cloud. So first thing, I come credential, and here I have a few credentials that you can create. In our case, we're gonna create backup credential, and here in backup credential, we're gonna put in the cloud credential and put add. Here, we need to define the name of the cloud that we want, or the name of this credential. In my case, I will gonna use with the Google Drive, so we'll put drive. Next step, we need to connect the provider that we want. So if open here, have a big list, I can connect to Amazon, I can connect to Box, Dropbox, FTP, but in our case, we're gonna use with Google Drive. In, in this instance, when I put connect, it will appear this page, and then I will connect to my specific provider, and after this one, I will put save. Here, I always can check if it's working with my provider, so I can put verify credential, and if I appear here valid, and then I can put save. Once that is safe, here it's my credential, but I can add as many credentials as I want. Now the next step, we need to come here in data protection. Here in data protection, that we're gonna configure our cloud sync task. So if I come here and put add, there will be this page where we start to put all the information that you want. So the first name will be uh, drive sync, drive sync. Could be any name that I want, but I think that uh, drive sync seems fine. I'll select the credential that I want, 
so I have only one rotation, this reason that I can only select drive. If I didn't do that first step there, I can add a new rotation, but my case already did, so it's fine. Now I have two options, I can push or pull. If I click here, they will explain what case will be pushing and what case will be pull. In my case, push will send all the information to the cloud and pull, they will copy all the information to the cloud. In my case, my cloud is clean, don't have any information, so I'll put as a push. In this part for folder, I can select where I want to save. In my case, it's empty, but I suggest you to create a specific folder for it. So let's come in here, my Google Drive. So I come here, put new folder, and I will put TrueNAS, and I put create. In my case, I put exactly the same folder, TrueNAS, and now I can select the transfer mode. So here is really clear. If you select the option copy, it means that if in your destination where they have a file with the same name, doesn't matter if it's smaller or big, they will override. In this way, all time they will be override folders or files with the same name. If we select sync, they will basically will make a properly sync with the information for your server to your cloud. And remember, they will make exactly the same match. It means that if that file don't, do not exist anymore in your server, or they change the size or any modification that file, they will make exactly the same modification or the same name in your cloud. So exactly the copy between your TrueNAS to your cloud. And if I put move, basically they will move all the information and that once that's done, they will delete all the information for your TrueNAS, or at least they will move everything from your TrueNAS to your cloud. In our case, we're gonna put sync because I want to have a match information between my cloud and my TrueNAS or between my TrueNAS to my cloud. Now we'll select which directory that I want to backup. So in my case, I will select the folder data as we already configured it, will be home, and I select data. Other thing, I can select how often they will do. So I can select hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, and some cost information. In my case, I will leave daily, that's totally fine. I will enable it for the uh, automatic task. And here have some advanced information. This snapshot means that uh, they will take a snapshot all the time or before they will do a push. So if I will do a push for this data, they will create snapshot. It's interesting to have this snapshot Yes and no. If you write configure this periodic snapshot, this one will be unnecessary because it will make basically two copies for the same information. But if you didn't configure it, yes, it's totally fine and interesting. Now we can define some pre-script or post-script before and after you do the backup or the sync. And here you can select some files or some extension that will be not synced to your server, look like uh, .iso and others that you don't want to sync to your cloud, but you want to keep local your network. You can create a fast list. One thing that was interesting, if I click here, they directly for our clone fast list. So I don't know if they're using their clone to do this cloud sync, or it's only coincidence that was easy for them. Other thing, we can enable a remote encryption. So all the information that will be in your cloud will be encrypted and all the information that look on your network will not be encrypted. Other thing that we can limitate is the speed of uh, uploads and the frequency of transfers or how many files that will transfer simultaneously. So in this way, once that we update all and select all the information that we want, we're gonna put save. Once that save, they still panning because only in eight hours or exactly midnight that they will do the sync. In my case, it's still a little bit early, so they will not do my sync straight away. But I can always come here and put run now. They will say, you are sure that you want to run? I will say continue and they will start it. So if I close, they are running. And if I open here, they will see what's the progress for it. So they will try to do the upload for the 279 megabytes. It means that the 16 items will be transferred to my cloud. So let's wait, they finish. Once that they finish, we can uh, check the information, it's really go to my cloud. Once that uh, appear this information successful, it means that they finish it to the cloud, or the sync to your cloud, we can come here in our drive and we can check if it really happened. They make a true NAS, photos, what we save, 
and here all my pictures. So, so it's totally fine, they make it the correctly sync, but let's do a supposition. I come here in my data and I come here and delete all my files. And in this stage, I check my snapshot. Let's come here in properties, period snapshot, and I don't have his name in snapshot. It means that I lose all my data. No, you don't lose your data because look like you, you make a copy for your data in your cloud. So here you can restore your data. If I come here in restore, there will appear this information because you are trying to restore will be a pull. In this case, we did a push. Now it will be a pool of all the information. We can put uh, the name restore data. I can make a copy or I can make a sync. In my case, I only want to make a properly copy for the data. I'll select where I want to save this information. I come here and put data and put restore. They will restore straight away. No, they will not restore because they are pending and only once that you put manually run now, they will do the, back, the restore. So I will do it. I'll continue and they start to run. If I click here, you're gonna see what is going on. So they have around 206 megabytes of files where they are copying all the information. So if I come here again, they write the peer photos. So once that finished to do the cloud sync or restart, they will show right my folder pictures where all my data restart. In this way, you have extra protection to guarantee that if your data in your local server fail or for any reason don't have and you do a daily sync, it means that you ha still have all the information that for the previous day. If it happened two, three days ahead and you make some syncs and you didn't realize, maybe it will be a little bit different and it will be difficult to get that data back, but at least with the basic sync, you're gonna have exactly cop for that exactly moment from your data in your cloud. So guys, I hope that you like this video. In this video, have an idea how you can make a backup or at least a copy for your data from your system, your TrueNAS, to any cloud that you like. In this way, you have extra protection. In the case that your server fail, you still have this data in the cloud. So if you like this video and think that it was interesting for you, please don't forget to leave your like, consider to subscribe for the channel and see you next time. Bye.